what is going on guys it's your boy Cecil here bring guys in an illustrated tutorial here today bring guys a video on how to create your own mascot logo design so recently I've taken interest to sort of like figuring out a different technique on how to create mascot logo designs as there is millions and millions out there I'm sure and if you're a mascot designer then I'm sure you uh, you also have your own current style to it so I usually always I've like I think the past two videos I've had were like symmetrical designs and you know pretty much how to sketch and stuff like that so of course today's video I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you guys how to sketch and pretty much illustrate your mascot designs in like three simple easy shapes and um i believe this way of processing it or like understanding or like sort of introducing you to mascot design uh, mascot logo designs if you choose to you know kind of forge yourself into that you know kind of category of design it's really really crucial for you to really figure out all these different techniques because it'll really help you like settle with your style so i'm gonna teach you guys that today so of course i'm gonna start off with a sketch and i'll throw the sketch into illustrator and then we'll really quickly illustrate it and uh, yeah it's gonna be really fun very simple so hopefully you guys enjoy and let's get this freaking thing going so of course two likes on the video equals a secret down below which i'm not sure it's gonna be yet but maybe i don't know i'll figure it out when it's time so hopefully guys do enjoy and of course if you guys want more illustrated tutorials please just let me know leave a like on the video and all that cool stuff and uh yeah let's just get just just get this thing going all right guys so pretty much i'm gonna start with this sketch right so i have a a lion like roaring on my screen right now i do also have this pre-sketched out so you guys can just like sort of relax and understand where the i guess the direction is going but i really want to show you guys really quickly what i'm looking for when i actually sketch out my mascot design so if we were to look at this let's say this one entire shape right here was like number one and then the next shape would be number two. And then our next shape on the outside would actually be number three when it comes to how many shapes are there to kind of create your base to like creating the actual mascot design. So right here, I'm looking at a picture and I'm just going to basically make sure, I believe the most crucial thing about this, if you're trying to use this sort of technique or even like, like trying to figure out how to do a mascot logo design, try to make your, I guess your number three or excuse me, your number one shape is like, is... I guess direct as possible to make sure that it's the animal that you choose so for me I think starting off with the actual hair on the outside it's probably like the easiest way for me to actually say that or to do that for like the whole lion thing now if I wanted to I probably could have like went a little further out or whatever put more kind of like these little stroke pins or whatever you want to call them um so it's gonna go ahead and just like sort of sketch this out now I already know like I said I already have it planned out sketched already but pretty much I want to show you guys what I mean by sketching out a uh, shape that kind of like makes sure or makes sure that you kind of have this like how do you say this animal shaped out the way that you believe the animal looks on the outside like if you were just thinking of a shadow for a shape for an animal that's pretty much what you're doing here and we're just gonna go ahead and move that up like this we'll move this like so let's just make that go all the way that way for now and then I'm, I'm using I'm moving my paper a lot I know but I just want to show you guys so this like black outline stroke this will be one entire thing that's filled in so this just imagine this as if it was filled in all the way so if you can imagine that you just know that this is gonna be that black part that's on the outside number two right here will be whatever that primary color that you choose to use so this is probably gonna be the primary color but for me I just want to pretty much make sure make sure guys also use negative space in my pre sketch you can see this little triangle here and if you see my picture that I have above, or wherever I have it in like the video, y'all probably see, you'll see it somewhere. Um, you see this little triangle here? I'm gonna use this as like a negative space, sort of. So in my example, I can probably have right, or excuse me, in my sketch, I'll have this like something like this, like over here, and then going up this way. And I'm gonna pretty much trace this what I have over here again. So I'm making sure I keep these little like these little spiky things going on here because that's kind of illustrate, or I guess I would say you're you're pretty much matching that. It's pretty much hair, right? So this is what I want to make sure I do. This little part will be his little ear. It can be smaller. It can be messed around with. Just uh, we're just gonna keep on going with it though. Go ahead and do something like this, something like that, and let's just say we do something like this this time. I don't know. We'll figure that out when the time comes. But there we go, right? So I basically did my little side, like my little sketch on the inside. So like I said, guys, make sure you guys understand that the the like the best and most like focused shape you should be focused on would be the number number one right the one that's on the back and then pretty much it's, it's gonna completely either make or break what you want to have so for me i also usually do mascot designs where i sketch them out i always do this like symmetrical thing where i have like the the eye going the hair going or whatever and then like the nose or whatever it's going on i usually have that symmetrical but symmetrical logos are not like i want to stop doing those i want to try to branch myself out and like learn more and like I said, I found this like really cool little technique. I've seen people do it. I'm like, you know what? Like, why not give it a try? So 
pretty much what you do on the inside for that one like number two shape here is you just want to figure out like negative space like this right here is gonna be his mouth area this is where his teeth will be and stuff like that um this is where his nose can be if you even want to we can even put like a little triangle here as well to be like that's where the nose is gonna go but this little negative space here is the nose this little space here is the mouth and teeth and so you just want to make sure you have that back shape and it really like generalizes the actual animal that you choose right and then as for the eye I'm gonna go ahead and just say the generic sort of like circle shape well I'm sure you have to do this in Illustrator as well but go something like this I'll we'll do something like that for now we'll just say that's the eye you can work with it for now let's just let it go uh, that's the eye for now but basically I want to let you guys know that it is it is almost is this easy right you're gonna say to yourself well you had a pre sketch like what did you do before that I looked at the picture and I pretty much said exactly I pretty much did exactly the same thing I didn't take much time on the pre-sketch at all I just wanted to make sure that I have a certain direction and also that you can see what I was talking about before I even finished it so that right here this so just really just re uh, really quickly like review it this number one would be that one back shape that's gonna be solid color and it's gonna be that your one base color shape that's gonna be on the outside right and the number three like I said by the way is basically that stroke is gonna be on the outside like so there's gonna be a stroke on the outside We'll look something like this right something like that all right let's just say this is the stroke and this stroke is that number that number three shape so this stroke all the way around is that number three shape that'll be that nice little gradient color whatever the color you choose to be on the outside and the number two here is that one shape like i said that kind of divine like define excuse me um the animal as well on the inside so you just want to you don't want to have to fill the entire thing like usually i would say to myself all right i have to make sure i gotta go outside here over here like trace it all the way around but if you just kind of focus on just the main uh, parts i guess to the actual mascot design itself then you're pretty much in there so hopefully that makes you like it helps you understand just as much like i'm looking at the picture right now as well i could probably like make this go out like this way more but it's all it's all just like the sketch is not always going to be what your outcome is going to be obviously like i myself i'm a prime example of that so this sketch is probably going to change out i'm probably going to make this like i'm going to actually put these in here make those arrows come out more this way i want this to come out more that way i want to actually of course fix this um of course fix my eye i'm probably gonna make it smaller as well probably smaller and push it up so use arrows use your sketch However, just know that your sketch is not going to illustrate what your product is probably going to be. It's going to give you a generalized idea because once you put everything in Illustrator and start getting those smooth lines and sort of like what you're looking for, this will be totally easy. And it's I find this method just really, really cool. And this way of thinking about it, just a lot easier. So hopefully I helped you guys out and like I guess starting out your, uh, your mascot because you might be like, I feel like I can do this, but I just don't know where to start hopefully this will help you guys out so i'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of this i'm gonna email it to myself and i'm gonna throw it into illustrator and then we're gonna go from there so hopefully you guys enjoy that and uh, yeah i'll see you in a second all right guys so i went ahead and i threw in the sketch into illustrator we are in illustrator cc 2017 and so pretty much i'm just gonna go ahead and start this thing off so of course we're gonna start off with a new layer and the first shape that we're gonna be focusing on is number one the one that has little stripes through it and i told you guys that was the back plate that was like the bones of the actual mascot the bones really i couldn't think of any other words um okay so just a quick little rundown of course i'm using the pen tool in order to create our nice paths now if you guys don't know there's a fill path right and there is a stroke path which is located right here i have it turned off at the moment to turn your stroke pack off all you have to do is stroke pack stroke path off make you just click on this little red line going through where it says none that will turn it off and i'm going to also turn off my fill as well just for now because i don't need to see what's in the inside or anything like that i just want to see what i want to see which is just the stroke line right here right so I'm going to go ahead, like I said, and focus on this number three, or excuse me, number one down here, up here, you know, over here <laughs> in this location. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start this thing off right over here, and we're just going to go ahead and just go for it. So if you guys don't know, if click and drag, we'll just go, give you guys a nice little arch. So if I clicked once, right, if I just click once, it's not going to give me any sort of twists or turns or shape, like, you know, I can't actually turn the shape or curve the shape. So what I want to do is I want to click and I'm going to drag my mouse toward like I guess the bottom left of my mouse pad to give myself a nice curve that will curve me more to the left hand side but also give me that nice sort of like 
I guess, moon-shaped kind of curve going on, right? So if you guys don't know already, if you were to just simply click on the anchor on your pen tool, just like so, it'll create a new kind of a anchor, which is basically, if I just want to show you guys really quickly, if I click over here and I try to move this over here, this would have like a curve on this side because this extended curve, this little anchor point here, is still a secondary sort of, I guess, anchor, where it's kind of showing you guys, if I were to click over here, it would curve pretty much halfway through here as well right so as you can see so if i just click on the anchor this will reset that and i can just click and drag again without the unnecessary curve on the outside or following these extended points here so i'm going to continue now going on and i'm just going to continue doing the same exact thing here i want to have this there this like I'm, I'm sort of following my uh my uh sketch a little bit but i'm also following what i want to do as well something like this and i'm actually going to make this one go in more because why not and then I'll make this come like this, like that. And then like this over here. And I believe this, how is this gonna go like that? Yeah, okay. And then we'll do this one like this. Yep. Okay, and then this here, I'm gonna bring it in like so. And I'm, oh, so this curve right here, this is almost like a little S curve. So if you guys remember S curves, I always talk about that when I do like curves for uh, like color correction, stuff like that. So to make an S curve, I'm gonna click, drag, correct. And if I just click right up here, this will give me a very, very simple S curve. That's exactly what I want. So if you guys did not know already, if you extend this more over here, you would get more of a curve. So let's say if my curve is like, oh, like, how, like how you see it with the green line right now, I can extend that as well. So if I clicked again, right where I wanna have that, I can even just hold Alt a control click on this handle here I call it the extended point but it's called handle sure and I'm gonna click and just drag this back in toward the actual center path here or excuse me center anchor here and it'll give me my curve that I want back as well so it's very easy to make curves like that as well so this curve right here I'm just gonna simply actually I'll do that with multiple just like so I'll move this curve like that there we go and then give myself those nice little teeth now I'm probably not gonna be doing all the whole teeth thing or anything like that but I want to make sure you guys get the base I guess, uh, I guess the, the basic of the thing. Sure. We're going to go with that. Um, we're going to go ahead and just do something like this. And then we're going to go ahead and just come up here. And I might actually start putting in some, uh, some little curves in. Because I don't want to just have it very just bland like that on the top. So I'm going to go ahead and just add in my own little stuff. So I already told you guys, the sketch is probably not going to be exactly how I want it to be. But this right here, I'm going to go ahead and just turn on my fill now. And put this on a nice color. I believe I had a color before. Right here, this nice little black here. So I want to go ahead and just add myself like a nice little, you know, two little spikes on the top as well. Just to impl how you say imply hair. There we go. So right now, at this very moment, the whole point of what I was saying before is number one, which is this first shape that we're doing, is to make sure you make this shape as memorable, or excuse me, as memorable or as accurate or as what is the word I'm looking for? As uh as accurate we're just gonna go accurate as the animal that you choose like the like you can see a line in here a little bit right it does not look like a bunny it doesn't look like a bear it kind of looks like a dragon at the moment but you add, you get the the bare bones of what the shape or excuse me with the animal you have with the shape so make sure this right here the sketch that number one spot the sketch out excuse me number one shape this is the shape this is the path that you want to make sure is perfect and great and good because the inside can always be messed around with the outside you want to make sure you have that sort of bare bone like base shape so that's that first part of the sketch so if you want to now i can put my sketch above this black uh path here excuse me this black shape i'm going to lower my opacity on the sketch and there we go and i'll lock this back up just right again okay so now <laughs> above my layer three, which is, I'm going to call this number one. This is the first shape. I'm going to call the shape number one, right? I'm going to make a new layer. This is going to be shape number two. Shape number two. That's a dollar sign. Uh oh, boom. All right, this is shape number two. So the shape number two, like I said, is right here, right? So this, all this right here is shape number two. So I'm going to go ahead and start off right here, I guess. And we're just going to go for it. So like I said, this is like a little ear. Now we can always go back and sort of mess around with this and sort of fix things. Like I said, this is just a sketch. This is just your first attempt. You'll have so many variations. And I, myself, on my logo designs, I usually take maybe like three days on them, maybe a couple hours here or there on each day, just because I want to do it for like pre and stuff like that. So I know it takes me a long time to get that final, perfect sort of like look that I'm looking for. Let's see what I want here. And truthfully, 
it's not like something that you can probably do in like one second so understand that there is going to be a like a learning car curve excuse me but it's i swear to you it's not it's not as hard as it might look and even like i'm saying this i'm not the best myself but i know in my heart that i'm gonna get good as, as long as i keep trying right so i'm gonna go ahead and just uh, i'm gonna add another little curve in there why the hell not something like that or even oh how about this after this curve there do something like this and then almost straighten this thing out that we can just go straight into there i don't know we'll see i can always mess around with this more i'll move that around for now if you guys did not know like i just always hold control if you want to move a point anything you want to move you can click on by holding control just so you guys know and uh, i'm gonna do something like this and this is the little nose part that i was talking about let's just do that and then we'll come in here just like so all right, and then we'll do this last two little, or excuse me, three little uh, little spikes on the top, which is, indicates his hair, right? And do something like so, and then connect it after this one right here. All right, so very simple, right? This is the shape number two. I'm gonna go ahead and just connect it now, right? So for shape number two, I'm gonna have this color here. I'm gonna turn off this as well. So now shape number two has something like this. So as I said before, this shape number two is pretty much the uh, part where you want to get the only as the essentials basically inside of his his head basically right i'm also going to mess around with this a little bit i want to move this a little further down this way try to fill some more space um that'll do like something like that right i think that looks a little bit better you know i can mess around with that as much as i want but i'm going to move this as well right i already got some things coming into my mind that I want to do. I want to also move this a little further back. It's too close to that. Mess around with the curve a little bit. And I think it looks pretty good. So right now, and also like I was talking about, the negative spaces area. So right here where this nose is supposed to be, right? I want to make sure I have that space looking very, very accurate to what you would suggest that there's a nose also in here, right? So if you zoom in backwards, excuse me, if I zoom out, um, you'll see, zoom in backwards, hello? If I zoom out, you'll see there's like a nose shape there, right? And there's also empty space for the mouth here. Um, which I might not be doing because I have a lot of trouble with mouths, but I can get you some eye, like some eye, like design, something like that, right? So let's go ahead and just focus on the eye really quick. So actually, this is number four. This is the first shape, right? This is the second shape. Let me just do the third shape for now, right now. So the third shape is actually going to go on the bottom, however. So this is shape number three and shape number three. And for the shape number three, what I'm going to quickly do is I'm going to go to shape number one again. I'm going to click on the actual shape with my actual directional tool. Right, I'm gonna turn on a stroke for a second. I'm gonna put a gradient on uh, because I can. Let's just put on a gradient. Let's just choose any colors for now. We just wanna see what the colors are. And I'm gonna stroke here, right here, this table, and just throw my width up, my height, excuse me. And we're just gonna go ahead and make sure we're centered on the outside, correct? And I would say to myself, I think this size stroke is pretty good. So I'm gonna take that into account. I'll hide everything else or lock everything else and go to shape number three, click. And I'm gonna go ahead and now just start off from here, and I'm pretty much gonna make sure I follow these basic, uh, the, excuse me, let's turn this off. Make sure you follow this stroke on the outside just to make sure I have the same width, but just understand that you can do whatever the heck you guys want. I, I like, realistically, you should be here if you wanna keep it completely, like, symmetrical to what's going on, on the inside. However, I wanna put it there because I feel like it, but I at least get the width and make sure I have, like, the width maintained around the entire actual logo so it doesn't look really weird that the widths are different with the strokes, but if you want to put different stroke widths in different areas, go for it. Like, it does not matter. It's your design, right? So I'm going to go ahead and just quickly go on the route outside of this and uh, make sure we got that looking pretty. Okay, there we go. So now I'm gonna just really quickly click on the stroke again And I'm gonna go ahead and put in that color that I want right here And this is a nice little gradient I'm gonna go to back to shape number one and then turn off the stroke here because I have the stroke now in the back and there we go, right? So This whole tutorial is all about making the mascot in three shapes Really this right here is the bare bone. It's literally you can see the line you can see the stroke You can see the inside of the actual, you know, the different features that he's gonna have so really I can stop here But I want to quickly show you guys what whole like the whole eye situation there But just know that these three shapes is what's gonna really make the actual mascot correct So of course there's eyes there's different like I can do something like on the inside here if I wanted to let's just do something right now if I want to follow this angle here make a nice little curve there Right, if I want to have some more color on the inside, if I choose so, 
do something like this and then just connect it like so i can have something like that and then just use the stroke of this blue here have something like that going on to indicate yet again more hair going that way so that's just one of the little little thing i can do as, as well as like maybe like this i don't know let's just uh oop, my mouse is tripping oh god there we go i think i caught it my thick uh oh okay we're good all right do something like that and then something like this Right, and that'll indicate like a little nose right there, right? Okay, looking good so far. So really quickly, I'm gonna show you guys this whole eye situation. Um, not my best eye, but I'm gonna go for it. We're gonna call this with this, what is this, add-ons, right? I'll lock that really quickly. Now we're gonna make the eye. So the way I usually make my eye was just basically like a, how do you call it, like a half circle, right? I'm gonna turn this off for a second. So a nice little half circles, just, you know, click drag, make a nice little simple, like little smiley face going on there and then just click and then drag towards, so I want to have like a more fatter area towards the face right here, I guess the right side of the face, and pretty much that's that. I'm going to fill this in with a black, right? That's filled in with black now. Um, what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to go ahead and, uh, is that okay? We'll go with it for now. It's just, it's just the whole tutorial pur uh, purposes thing. So uh, I'm going to press L on my keyboard. It gives me the ellipse tool, right? That's what I want, the ellipse tool. And I'm going to make it basically make a perfect circle by holding Alt and Shift, clicking, and then just dragging, right? So with this perfect circle, I'm going to take this perfect circle and just bring this like right around here where the eye is. I'm going to Shift click on both of these actual shapes now. I can basically, I'm clicked on both of them. If I press Shift M, which is the shortcut for the uh, shape builder tool, I'm going to go ahead and just click on the inside where this little plus button is. It's going to be a plus button. If you held Alt, this would actually get rid of different shapes. But what I want to do is I want to make sure this is a shape that's cut out of the two shapes I just made, which was the uh, circle and now this eye shape. So I'm going to click just like so. Now I'm going to basically have two different parts. I'm going to have this little, like, what's going to be our eyelid or our, excuse me, our iris. And this this part right here is going to be like that filled, like, white spot. What is that called? Oh, or biology. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just fill this, excuse me, make this white. I'm going to go ahead and make sure I put this white uh, shape below my black eye shape. And I'm just going to go ahead and move this just like so. Uh, we can mess around with this as much as we want, but I want to make sure you guys get the point. Uh, something like around there is pretty good for now. So that's that right there, right? Oh, God. Okay. Let's just uh, let's put it on that angle. And then we'll do that for now. Okay. So now for this part here, this looks, I'm going to put this on the bottom. I'm going to make a new layer on the bottom of the paths here. And I'll take my pen tool. And I'm going to go ahead and just like click, drag, click. I'm not going to follow this exactly. Something like that. And this is going to be like another just like piece around his eye that just makes it look cool. Uh, like something like this. Something like that. And then... We'll get rid of that and fix this like that. Um, okay. That looks okay. I'm going to get rid of this little sketch thing now. And I'm going to make this outside. Actually, we're going to make this outside black and this blue. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to shrink this down a bit. First this. Right? And we'll mess around with this and shrink this all together. That way it's not ginormous and put it somewhere around there. And I think that's pretty good. So, really I can go a lot further than this. I might even mess around with it for like the whole final image thing or excuse me like the beginning of the video like what you're going to be learning today in today's tutorial or whatever but i want to at least show you guys and like really like illustrate how easy it is to sort of start your mascot design i'm not saying mascot designs are easy i'm not saying that i'm great at them or good at them or anything like that i'm just saying i'm learning and i want to teach you guys everything that i learned because i know you guys are going to teach me a lot of things as well like yo seso look what i did i'm like okay how'd you do that and we become friends so it's one of those things so hopefully you guys you did enjoy today's tutorial Hopefully it helped you guys out in starting your mascot designs and maybe even, I guess, brightening your, I guess, your broadening, excuse me, your knowledge on the whole how to do them. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Of course, don't leave a like in the video if you guys enjoy. Turn likes on the video equals a secret down below, which will most likely be the illustrator file of this video. 
And of course, do not forget to check out my cell phone, cellphone.com slash HQ for any pre-meds and packs as well as $3. And the everything pack being one whole cost of one to simple purchase of $30. And you get everything in my store for free for the next forever, basically. It's the everything pack forever. So everything pack for life is what it's called. Um, So yeah, thank you guys very much. And of course, if you're not subscribed already, please go ahead and do so. Make sure you guys go ahead and comment down any videos you want to see me do as well. And also, if you guys just wanted to know a little bit of about my life really quickly, my sister is in surgery. She's, she got surgery. She went perfectly successful. It was really awesome um, to hear. She had to, like, get, like, both of her legs broken because she has, like, this really odd case of, like, bold leggedness and they didn't want to get, like, they don't want it to get crucial. So, they went ahead and break both of her legs, so she's going to be, like, very MIA for a while. I know you guys don't, like, you know, know her personally, but I thought it was pretty much cool for you guys to at least know. Um, so, she's doing great. So, thank you guys very much, and I'll talk to you guys later. Cecil HQ out. Peace. Do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later.